again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 9th of March, 2019. Article on Top Buzz, written by Newsweek. 11 year old allegedly shot dad in back, said there would be part two if he didn't get PlayStation Xbox. This is totally insane. An 11-year-old boy who allegedly shot his father in the back reportedly told investigators that if he didn't get the video game system he wanted, there would be a part two. On February 21st, around 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, officers responded to Indiana State Trooper Matt Makowski's home in Granger, Indiana, WXIN reported. Makowski was shot in the lower back and was transported to the hospital where he underwent surgery and was placed in the intensive care unit. Since the shooting, the trooper has been steadily improving. Matt's friends and co-workers know he has a long recovery ahead of him. Indiana State Police Public Information Officer Sergeant Ted Boner told Newsweek, We are offering him all the support we can and look forward to him being able to come back to work. His son, whose name has not been released because he is a minor, was arrested for attempted murder and placed at the Juvenile Justice Center in St. Joseph County. Makowski told police that the firearm used in the shooting was his own, according to WSBT, adding that the 11-year-old must have retrieved it from the trooper's car parked outside. Well, the gun shouldn't have been left in an unlocked car parked outside. Police tape cordons off the scene of the early morning shooting in Alexandria, Virginia on June 14, 2017. An 11-year-old boy who allegedly shot his father in the back in Indiana allegedly claimed he did so because his video games were taken away. Brendan Sarkowski, Getty Images. He's the guy that took the pictures. Given the age of the suspect, preliminary information was limited, but more details came to light after WSBT filed a public records request for court information. The 11-year-old was allegedly upset his parents took his video game away and devised a plan at school that day to shoot his father. The 11-year-old allegedly told enforcement that he was done with all of that and went to Makowski's car three times to look for the firearm. The boy says he went into his parents' bedroom with the gun and decided to wait about 10 minutes until his father rolled over and was facing away from the door so that he wouldn't see me shooting him, court documents described, according to WSBT. After he was shot, his wife heard him screaming and saw blood, according to WNDU. She then went to look for her son. Saw Makowski's service weapon on the floor, grabbed it, returned to the bedroom, and locked the door while she called 911. The 11 year old sister was locked in her room with the family dog. When officers arrived, they instructed the 11 year old to open the door and lie on the ground. An officer asked if he was the one who shot his father, and he allegedly replied that he had, adding, Sometimes I don't think right. The boy allegedly secured his father's taser, which was South Bend Tribune reported. He said he, he tased, he used the taser on the family dog before the shooting. He also allegedly told police that he planned to shoot his father in the head, but couldn't because of the way he was lying. During a conversation with officers after the shooting, WSBT reported the 11-year-old also warned that if he didn't get a PlayStation, an Xbox, and a computer, there would be a part two. Malkowski's son appeared in court on Tuesday and is due back on April 10th. You think this kid's got a mental issue? Huh? Well, we'll see how this thing unfolds. He'll probably be held as a juvenile until he's 21. God forbid they release him. I'll attach the link. You take a look at it. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to your like-minded friends. Thanks for listening.